Hello everyone, this is General Haggerty. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. In today's video, we are going to be making some announcements. Now, most of the things I'm going to tell you here are not breaking news or anything. <laughs> There's stuff that has been announced before, but I'm just going to try to bring it all together in one place here. Uh, show some love for my brothers in arms out in the global war community. Um, most of this will be on events that are happening uh, probably this summer, I think most of them. Uh, one of them might be pushed back a little later, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, uh, I know how hard people work to set these events up, and I've been to a number of them before, and they're a heck of a lot of fun. If you've never been to one, you should. Uh, it's, not, it's not just the games that are fun to play. It's You, you get to meet some really cool people, right? Um, um, some of my closest friends right now are people that I met at these events. And so... I'm going to uh, talk about a, a bit about, about those and about something else a little later. And trust me when I tell you that it is worth uh, you sticking around till the end on this one. Let's talk about some of the events. Um, all of these things that I'm going to tell you about, I'm going to put a link down in the description box below the video because there's a page on historicalboardgaming.com that has much more information than I'm going to give you. Like... Uh, addresses and things like that. I'm just going to give you an overview of what's going on there. Um, so anyway, let's start with um, my brothers across the line there in 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 King County, Washington State there. So the battle in Seattle, that's happening August 3rd to 6th or maybe even 7th. Um, if you want to get in on that discussion, uh, they're talking about what rules they're going to be playing and giving a little bit more information on that. Um, I haven't talked to them about it. I've been following along with the discussion, so I don't know that it, that they've cut it off yet, like if they're taking any more um, people in. Uh, but it's, there's going to be lots of uh, great players there. Um, so it's in Seattle, obviously, and it, it's only 15 minutes from SeaTac Airport. Uh, SeaTac is the major airport in Seattle. So um, it's, it, you know, like if you're flying in there, it's not going to be that hard to get to the place. and. Um, anyway, it sounds like they're going to have a good time down there. They're going to be playing Global War 36 uh, version 4. And if you want to get in on that discussion, then you can go to a Board Gaming Bros uh, Global War Games on Discord. Uh, that's where they have a thread there and they're talking about that. So anyway, the battle in Seattle, check that out in August. Um, another one is, uh, they're looking to set up a, another one of these. They've just had one recently, and they call it the European Masters. So I think they're trying to set one up this summer somewhere in Europe. Like, they don't, it's not necessarily confined to a single place. It's wherever somebody's willing to put the work in to get everyone together. Um, anyway, uh, they had a really good time last time. They, they uh, posted a lot about it and they had a lot of fun so if you live in europe or if you want to travel to europe and go to this i'd love to by the way send me a ticket guys <laughs> anyway the i think they're looking at maybe uh hopefully getting together this august uh but they haven't set a firm date yet but if you want to get in on that discussion then again go to a board gaming bros uh global war games on discord and join that discussion there Maybe you want to start organizing something in, in Europe anyway. That's a good way to meet some of the great players there. Um, before I move on, let me just... You're probably wondering what you're looking at there. So, <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, so uh, this is the cavalry. We've got cavalry for every country in Global War 1914. This one here, uh, this Japanese cavalry, he's a World War II cavalry, but you can't really tell, right? Uh, but all the other ones are specifically World War I. This one is uh, elite cavalry for the Russians, that's the Cossacks. And the one beside it is the regular cavalry. Anyway, the, the, we've got them for all of the factions in Global War. And you'll see the, like there, there's a, a few roundels there that don't have anything. We we actually, it's just me that doesn't have them. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I think the Polish one is the one they just did. It's not out on the website yet, but I've processed it already. Uh, so like I've made a profile and everything and as soon as they have enough of them printed then that one will be out um, It's either that one or the Netherlands one or maybe both of them are not out yet But anyway, you see the Netherlands down at the end there had to it was hard to find uh, Information and pictures on the Netherlands one because 
the cavalry is located down in the Dutch East Indies and um, finding pictures from over a hundred years ago. <laughs> a little bit of a challenge. Um, the Mongolian one is already out. I, I just haven't got it yet. He's just put some Mexican cavalry out there. There's the, the Federalists and the uh, Revolutionaries uh, for them. And, um, and Polish cavalry, yeah, I just talked about that. So anyway, that's all the cavalry. That's every cavalry that's in the game is going to be here. And we wanted to get them all because cavalry is actually a pretty big part of this game. Not like 36. Like 36 are kind of like just a, another unit. And, and in fact, in version 4, you can't really, uh, you can't buy them after a certain date, right? But I mean, they were antiquated in, in World War II. They started out with cavalry and then they kind of realized, hmm, maybe these things don't stand up to a tank. So <laughs> anyway... Um, here, let me just move that back. We'll go right over top of them here. So yeah, um, the, the, they play a big role in the 36 game and, um, and so we've got them all, including all the neutrals. Anyway, so that's something to check out. Um, so let's get back to it. All right, there we go. So, um, the next one is, uh, the Twisted Lores Convention. That's down in Oklahoma City. That's the one that Doug Friend will be at from Historical Board Gaming. And they're going to have uh, a few of the um, designers there uh, at, at uh, Oklahoma City. And they're going to set up some of the games, some of the, even some of the bigger games, right? Uh, so uh, that's a bigger convention, though. Like, that's not just a global war convention. That's uh, a whole gaming convention there. And there's lots of information about it on uh, that page that I'm going to put a link to. So that's happening from July 14th to 16th in, I think it's called Middle City or whatever. But anyway, it's in, it's Oklahoma City. <laughs> it's part of Oklahoma City, whatever the, the specific uh, place is. And I was just talking to my good friend last night, the Hilltop Pillbox, and he, that he's, uh, that's uh, gave me the idea to do this actually was talking with him. So he has got the very first Northern Lights uh, showcase that's coming up. And that's going to be, let's see, August 18th to 21st in Abbotsford, British Columbia. So if you don't know him, he, uh, like you probably might have seen his videos and stuff. He's a really great guy, really interesting to talk to, very gregarious. What he sounds like on his videos, that's what he's like to talk to. He's just, he's just full of, uh, energy and everything so um he's a school teacher uh teaches high school and that's actually where the thing is going to be at it's going to be at his high school in abbotsford of course it's summertime so there won't be any kids there right but lots of space there that's for sure lots of tables that they can use anyway uh aside from that he's also an actor uh up here in canada and uh i think screenwriter i think that's what you would call it He's written a, a series. Uh, I, I watched the pilot on that. Anyway, um, very interesting guy. So that's going to be, again, August 18th to 21st. Now, what he's going to do, he's going to play HBG games there. So they're going to be uh, Midway, America, and Global War 2025 Meltdown. Now, these are shorter games, right? Games that you can play in a few hours. And what's going to happen is uh, you're going to play all three of them. And you can bring more games if you'd like, if you're going to this, but you're going to play uh, all three of these games and you're going to get points for, you know, how you do in the game. And I don't know, for you do whatever you do, I, however he sets it up, I'm sure it's going to be interesting. But anyway, that's how they're going to um, pick a winner at the end of it is uh, from points that you get from playing all three of these games. Now, he has also said that he's going to uh, give people rides from the airport. But let me just tell you first, before you book your, your flight there, if you're going to fly to there. So Abbotsford is outside of Vancouver. And if you're flying to Vancouver International Airport, that's called YVR. You know, every airport has a call, call letters, three call letters, right? Uh, YVR is not the one you want to fly to if you're going to this event. That's south of Vancouver in, a, in the city of Richmond. And in fact, the, the airport is right down on, on the ocean. You actually almost touch the ocean when you're flying into it. Um, you, you, could, uh, you could open your window, you could spit on the fishermen underneath you. Like you're only like 20 feet in the air by the time 
you hit the the runway which is right at the ocean right so that's not the one you want to go to that's quite a ways from Abbotsford Abbotsford is about an hour inland from Vancouver like on highway one that goes all across Canada but it's about an hour down that freeway and uh, you know like if it was just an hour away you'd be fine but you're not right that's an hour away from Vancouver not an hour away from Richmond you have to go a ways to get through Vancouver to get to Richmond so anyway if you fly to the Abbotsford International Airport again that's an international airport so that's YXX so again fly to YXX if you're going to go to it not to YVR you want to go to the Abbotsford uh, International Airport and then of course um, Pillbox will know that you're coming because you will have talked to him first and he'll know what time your flight's coming in and he is offering you a free ride from the airport not for YVR though if he had to pick up everybody at YVR he would never get to play the game <laughs> believe me it's a, it's a long ride um, anyway so that's the Northern Lights and that's uh, my good friend Hilltop Pillbox in Abbotsford BC uh, I'd love to go to it I, I'm, I'm looking at it but I, I don't know that I can make it it's it's a matter of money for me so I'm not sure that I'm gonna be there but if I can I will be I I, I, uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and let me see um, the last one I want to talk about is the Sky Marshall Cup and that was called by something else before that you know like that's the event that we've had in Prince George the last couple of years um, we've called it something different every year <laughs> anyway this year he's calling it the Sky Marshall Cup and that's from July 7th to 10th so we've allotted four days this time although that's not full days like I think the 7th is a Friday right so um, it could be that uh, it's just like half a day the first day and then three full days I'm not sure but anyway we should have enough time to complete it um, and this one's a lot of fun like you can talk to anybody that's been up here for this event Sky Marshall just uh, he spoils us all right the food is great and the prizes are awesome and uh, the company's really good and um, the only thing higher than the, the level of competition at this event is uh, is the local residents <laughs> they're high as balls usually <laughs> or a lot of them are anyway anyway so it, it's gonna be a lot of fun and there's gonna be lots of people there like um, Sky Marshall is gonna be there uh, General Hand Grenade that's me I'm gonna be there Hilltop Pillbox is gonna be there probably rank carcass um, I know Madman Dan's gonna be there he's actually won the last couple of years and that's why we've invited this other guy uh, Tanya Harding's boyfriend Jeff Galuli he's gonna come he's gonna bring his tire iron and uh, we figured if that's the only way we can stop Madman Dan from winning this year then we're gonna do it right because up here in Canada when we say we're gonna take a knee we damn well mean it <laughs> so if you see a guy with goalie pads there that'll be Madman Dan <laughs> he'll be avoiding Jeff Galuli um, we're also going to have a, a knife fighting pit out in the back there. We tried to get Huckleberry Finn's dad to come. He was the best knife fighter on the Mississippi, but he's been dead for 160 years, right? Back when knife fighting was a big deal. So we did manage to get OJ. He's going to be in the backyard and he's going to be doing some knife fighting. Um, so I think like it's the way it works is that you, you throw in some money and the, the winner gets to take all the money. It could be OJ's taking all our money. Uh, so bring your small gloves and that'll be a lot of fun and uh, who else is going to be there oh Jenna Ortega she's going to come up and do the Wednesday dance so uh, that'll be in in the front yard there that's surely to drive uh, Sky Marshall's neighbor nuts not that he's not nuts already but this is really going to drive him nuts when she uh, turns into a teenage goo goo mock <laughs> that'll be fun anyway um, some of these people are going to be there some of them aren't some of these things are going to happen some of them won't you'll have to come up here to Prince George and find out which which of these things are true and which aren't so we hope to see you up here I promise you it'll be a good time if you make it again that's uh, the Sky Marshall Cup July 7th to 10th so those are the events I wanted to talk about uh, and if you have any more by all means contact HBG he has got a page there that I'm going to link to I'll tell you that again and um, you can do some free advertising on his page there you know just announce that you want to hold an event and uh, he supports everybody that does that anyway the last announcement I have to make I kind of said something in my last video and uh, it turns out that 
I've tr I've passed a million views. I passed that on uh, Friday night before I went to the lake. I noticed that. So I looked this morning. I have one million one thousand two hundred and twenty six views on my channel, and I can't believe that. Like I, I when I first started, it was just you know like I needed to do something. I was I was flat on my back. Um, I had a kidney taken out because of cancer, right? And I was so bored and I, could, I just couldn't watch any more TV. I watched a lot of grasshopper videos and anything I could find on Access and Allies. And I thought, you know, this is something that I could do, you know. So I kind of, um, <laughs> it wasn't easy, but I dragged my games down out of the closet. And I hadn't played Access and Allies in a while. So anyway, I started making videos and I just, I can't believe that um, this has been over a million views now. There's uh, 3,627 sub subscriptions, almost 156,000 hours of watch time. So <laughs> people have been listening to me for almost 156,000 hours. I, I can't believe that. My, my teachers in high school would be just rolling over in their graves if they're dead by now because uh, they, they didn't want to listen to me for two minutes and <laughs> people on the internet are listening to me for 156,000 hours. Anyway, that really blows me away and, and I'm so appreciative of, of everybody in the community for supporting me like that. And I've tried to support all of you too um, when I can. I mean, we all have lives too, right? In, including me. But uh, uh, I, I really appreciate the support that I, that I get from you and the friendship that I get from so many of you. Um, so uh, among my videos, like how do you get to a million subscriptions? Well, I got uh, um, well over 400 videos now. Um, and uh, you know, the funny thing is, is that I only played one YouTube game. And it, it, like if you play a, a few YouTube games, then your videos, like the, there's lots of videos there, right? Uh, probably close to 20 videos at least in, in just for one game, right? Of uh, Global War. Um, but I've only played one of them. So a lot of these videos are something that I had to come up with. I had to think about I had to, you know, it's not just a matter of, of playing a game. It's a matter of coming up with a topic or an, a new angle or something. So that's something that I'm proud of. And the, the videos that have the most views, uh, I, I was looking this morning. So it's all uh, the ones that have the most. There's a whole, several of them that are right at the top. And they are uh, strategy videos. Of course, the Axis and Allies videos, because that's a, a, a game that is uh, much older than Global War, and there's a lot more players in the world, right? So Floating Bridge, that's an American strategy video. That's 53,000 uh, views plus. Uh, Africa Core, the German strategy video, that's 52,000. Middle Earth is 52,000. And then there's more and more uh, Axis and Allies videos. Lots of strategy videos there with, with lots of views, right? Um, as far as Global War, um, the one with the most views uh, as far as strategy goes, I think actually the, the highest viewed is, is a recent video. Uh, it really took off and that was the one that I did about what's in a Global War roundel. And that's just actually pretty interesting. Uh, so that's probably why there were so many views. But um, lots of information in that video. Anyway, as far as the strategy videos, though, the Swiss Cheese Gambit got uh, 1.8 um, thousand, so eight, over 1,800. Uh, the, the Dutch Panacook, that was a Japanese strategy video from version 3. That was uh, about 1,500. And, uh, Motherland had 1,000. Um, so anyway, lots of views on the strategy videos, and I haven't done one of those since Motherland, I guess. That would have been the last one. Anyway, like I said, though, I'm just uh, blown away and I appreciate it so much that people join me in my little war room here. And it, it's taken me a lot of places like this game that we're looking at here. Um, if it wasn't for me doing all this and doing it in front of all of you, then I wouldn't have been invited to work on this game. And um, uh, I'm, I'm really, really proud of this game. Uh, not just the work that I did, but the work that we did as a team. Uh, me and Bob and, and Will and, and Doug uh, and all the others that helped out, right? Like those are the four main ones. But, um, you know, like Morton, um, I talked a lot with him, you know, when we compared this or that or, you know, what does it really mean when you when you talk about that? Because a lot of the rules are the same, right, or similar. So, 
you know, um, people like that and, and others, you know, like um, people that helped us play test. Uh, uh, Sky Marshall was over here a few times and, and Rank Carcass and, and others uh, here at the War Room. Plus um, Bob, he had play testing going on down in Pennsylvania and we had the Illinois boys, they did some play testing for us. Anyway, uh, it all came together in the end. Uh, congratulations to Doug and to all those other guys for, you know, putting that together and, and um, it's coming out now. It's, it's, it's out on the market. I just seen um, Hambone did a video on an unboxing today. That's the first video I've seen of it other than mine, right? And I think Bob made one or two. That's the first uh, Global War 14 video I've seen. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot, lot more of them. Anyway, that's where it's taken me, right? Uh, that I get to be involved in, in these games like this. And, and so uh, that's what I get out of it. Like, it, I, I don't do it for money. I don't do it for, for likes or for views or for whatever. I do it because of where it takes me and, and how much fun it is, right? Um, for the friendships and everything. And so thanks again. And of course, we're going to have a contest. <laughs> You bet we are. And this is going to be the best prize ever given out, as far as I know, anyway. So, um, what are we going to do? Let's, um, you know what? Speaking of strategy videos and them getting lots of views, why don't you comment on, on this video uh, in the, the comment section and tell me what is your favorite general hand grenade strategy video? Don't worry about all the other ones. Just tell me about the strategy video that you like the best. You know, was it uh, one of those ones that I mentioned already? You know, or maybe the J1 or Calcutta Crush or, um, I don't know, there's lots of them, right? Anyway, tell me which one was your favorite. London Calling, <laughs> um, Dark Skies, there's been a few of them. So just tell me which one's the best, which one was your favorite and, and that'll be you entering the contest and the prizes will be uh, I'm going to make three draws this time because it's such a big deal and and uh, like I was only going to do one and then I got a call from Doug today. He said, you know what, have you made that video yet? And I said, no, I was about to. He said, I want you to make it three prizes. So <laughs> he's going to double down on me here. He's going to throw in a bunch of money too. So um, thanks to him again, all the support he gives me. But anyway, first prize, uh, $200 from Historical Board Gaming. That'll you'll just like I'll get your name and I'll pass it on to Doug and and Doug will put it in your account. You know, like he, we don't have to mail you a card or anything. We just put two hundred dollars on there for you, and two hundred bucks can buy you this game, this Global War fourteen, or maybe a ver version four, or maybe a shit ton of plastic, <laughs> whatever floats your boat, man. You can get lots of markers or you know, there's lots of stuff you can get, right? Two hundred bucks. So that's awesome. Um, and then the prizes that Doug threw in, uh, second prize is going to be $100. So uh, $200 and $100. And then third prize is going to be $50. So that one's pretty standard. Usually that when you're getting something for a prize, it's about $50, bucks, right? <laughs> We're going to go beyond that today, though, because this is such a big deal. Um, this is the first time somebody in our community has reached a million views. And I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, I know how much work it was and how much thought and planning and preparation goes in, is involved in doing all, it all. Um, you know, like I said, you know, I just do it for the fun of it, but that doesn't mean that it, you, you don't have to think about it, right? You, you still have to buy the equipment and you still have to um, do some research on a lot of them. Some of them I don't, right? But you know, like you got to write some shit down and you know what you're going to talk about and uh, get your facts straight if you can. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, anyway, uh, yeah, I just, again, I can't believe it. So, so uh, make your comments in there. Uh, this is a long weekend up here in Canada. I don't know if it is where you are, but here, I guess it's, uh, what is it, Victoria Day or something, something to do with Queen Victoria. I, I never really cared about what, what the name of the holiday was. Uh, we all up here in Canada, we just call it May 2-4 weekend. Uh, because we like beer and we, we like two four packs, but also May 24th is our kickoff weekend of summer in Canada. And Canada is very much a winter nation, so we love our May 2 4 weekend. We uh, like to go out to the lakes or wherever, that's where I'm heading. I'll be heading out to the lake. So when I get back, that's when I'm going to close this contest off. 
Uh, so make sure you get your comments in this week or this weekend. And then uh, as early as Monday, I'll be cutting the contest off and drawing three names or doing whatever. We'll find something to do, right? Some way to give away these prizes. And uh, again, thanks. And I hope that you win. So good luck to you all. Anyway, that's it for today. Take care, everyone. General Hand Grenade out. <laughs>